All right, so the last step I challenged you was to take this and put it into the corners and duplicate it. And actually, if you've done this, I wanna showcase how to do it in multiple layers. And then um, if you want to, you can hit Control Z to go back. Uh, so that way you can do it with me, but I wanted to kind of challenge you to see if you could do it on your own. So in this case, I'm gonna use the elliptical marquee tool. I think that's the best tool for this since it is pretty much a perfect circle. And I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna hold Alt and I'm gonna drag out. And then I'm gonna go a little bit off and just use my arrow keys to nudge onto this little bolt. And then once it's selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to copy it. I'm gonna copy it um, by just going ahead and hitting Control C, or you can go to Edit and you can go to Copy. And then once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and move my webcam here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer. So I can hit this plus sign to actually create a new layer, and then I can paste. So I'm gonna hit Control V to paste, or I'm gonna go up to Edit and hit Paste. I'm then gonna grab my move tool and it actually pasted directly on top of the other one. So if I click and drag on it, I can move it over here. And so you can paste off of one image into, or one layer image into another layer and then be able to manipulate it. And now I can move this around and notice it's not deleting the background because it's in fact on its own layer over here and not affecting the background. I can then zoom in and I can use control T to go ahead and transform it down. Um, and then I can rotate a little bit. And I'm just making these little bolts that look like they're kind of holding the picture frame together. I'm gonna accept that and then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. So one of the options that I have is to take this layer, I can right click it, and you've got a bunch of options, but you can duplicate it. Another quick way to duplicate the layer is to actually take the layer and just drag and drop it onto the plus sign down at the bottom of your layers panel, and it'll make a copy of it. You can then take that and move it up and control T to go into transform and rotate it a little bit more so it doesn't look like it was exactly the same as the other bolt. And then I can do the same process, drag down to the plus sign, take it over here, rotate it by going into control T transform mode, rotating it a little bit more and then hitting enter on my keyboard or the check mark. So the reason I wanted to show this was so that I can show you how to get something off of an image or layer and onto a new layer because the next assignment you're going to be doing is creating a Frank in person where you combine multiple images together. And don't forget that you can always copy and paste from outside of here or you can actually drop images in here. And I think dropping images is pretty important for you to note um, that if you have an image on your computer, like let me go ahead and just grab an image here of some sort. Um, so like this lo Hawks logo, I can just take the Hawks logo and I can just drag and drop it into Photoshop and it'll ask me if I want to place it. I can then resize it really quickly. It creates its own layer and then it's in transform mode so I can hit enter to keep it and do what I want with it. The biggest thing about this though, and I know this has nothing to do with the seashells, but I want to show this before you move on to Frank in person is when you drag and drop a picture in at any time or a file in, it comes in as what's called a smart object. So you can see on this thumbnail, over here in the layers, it actually has a little icon in the bottom right. And smart objects can't be edited. So if I go here and I select a piece of it and I go to delete it, you'll see it can't edit it because it's a smart object. So what we need to do with this layer to make it not be a smart object anymore and to remove this icon to make it editable is to right click the layer and rasterize it. Rasterizing it allows Photoshop to remove all the smart properties and find all the pixels and convert it. So if I rasterize the layer, you'll see that it will remove that little icon and then I can go and select a piece of it and delete it and all those kinds of things just like I could before. Um, so just some things to kind of think about as you're creating stuff. If you ever have a layer that you don't need, you can always click and drag and drop it to the trash can to remove it or you could hit delete on your keyboard. Okay, last step before we're done here, cropping this. I want to get rid of all this stuff at the bottom. I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my crop tool, which is just below my color selection tools. And you'll see that when you grab your crop tool, if you're zoomed out, you actually get a bounding box around your entire artboard and you can click and drag it up to crop this image. You could also click and drag across before I had started this process. I could have clicked and dragged across to decide what I was cropping into. But whatever is still bright and light is going to be what is left of my image on all layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and size this in and then hit the check mark. 
Alrighty, before you're done, go ahead and save it. And don't forget that you need to also export this as a picture. And you're going to upload both of those to your Google Drive and then submit that for your assignment.